Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Tech Team Toronto's channel, where we're going to tinker and learn. Today, we're going to be discussing AOMEI Backupper. Um, this is a review by Tech Team Tronics. Be sure to like the video on your way in, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, and comment what your experience with this is below. I'll start with the pros. It's easy to use interface. It can back up a system partition on a schedule. File backup sync imaging done in one program. Backup stored in a single easy to manage file. The free version, we have the free version that covers the basics. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and install that right now. All right, so select your English as the language, your uh, whatever, you know. And then you'll get this and you get the option to go to the Pro Edition. But for the tense purposes, I'll just skip and go to the free version. And then I'll proceed with installing the software. I'll check the path before I install just to make sure it's installed in a place that I agree with. And we'll proceed with the installation. There's nothing to it. It's really easy to do. It's a good backup solution in one place. That's my experience with it, and that's what we'll see in this video. And when it's done, the uh, web page will pop up noting that the installation was successful. And then it'll offer you more offerings in terms of advanced backup features, which you may want to look into. So now I'm running the software for the first time. It's asking, can my PC upgrade to the new Windows 11? I'm not interested in upgrading this PC to Windows 11, so I'm going to get out of that. And I'm going to just look at the software itself. And we have the standard edition of AOMEI Backupper. We can start with a new backup, or we could do a new sync. That's the home screen. That's what you get in the home screen. I'll go to the backup screen, and what you get is a system backup. AOMEI on key recovery, partition backup, disk backup, file backup, backup files to the cloud, which is neat little features. Also, you have basic sync, real time sync, you have mirror sync, and two way sync. The other features are available with the pro version, which are not covered here. What I will do is cut a basic sync later. Then you can select an image file to restore your computer from or to. And you have system clone and disk clone and partition clone as options in the clone section. And then here we have all the tools. We have Windows 11 Update Checker, Create Bootable Media, Explore Image, Recovery Environment, Disk Wipe, Notification Settings, Storage Management, View Logs, Complete Portable Version, Import, Export, Configuration, Check Image. And you got the PXE Boot Tool. You got the image deploy, centralized backer upper, one key recovery. You got cloud backup, disk partition manager, iPhone backup and transfer, remote desktop, data recovery, and system optimizations tool. So there's a lot to the software to really nitpick apart and see. And it's very all inclusive, and there's a lot to it. Very handy tool, kind of like a Swiss Army knife for your backup solution. It offers you many options, many solutions, for your backup needs. What we're doing here is we're gonna go ahead with the basic sync. I'm selecting the appropriate directories. First, I wanna select what I'm going to be backing up. And I'm gonna be backing up the end drive, so I wanna use that. It says if you want to back up all files to end drive, we highly suggest you use the partition backup function to accomplish it more quickly. This, I want to use the basic sync because um, if I get the later, if I update this to the later pro version, I might want to do the other sync features. So that's why I'm doing that. So I have the directories selected. It's backing up to my end drive. And then we'll start the backup process. I have to authenticate. So while that's running, we'll just talk about what you can do with it. 
it can be installed on a limitless number of PCs in a business or home setting. Backups can be encrypted and password protected. You can exclude hidden files, subfolders, and or system files from being included in a backup. Managing backup jobs is simple because you can view jobs created today, this week, or any other custom date. It's easy to run a full differential or incremental backup on an existing job in just a couple of clicks. Backups can be restored with ease because you can clearly see the date the backup method used before starting a restore. Also, the centralized backupper tool is supported so that you can use one computer on a network to start, schedule, start, and monitor backup jobs on the computers that are running the program. You can scheduling backups work with any backup method source, even for the system partition. Email notifications are supported, which means you can get backup status alerts when a backup has been completed successfully or when it fails, which includes information about when the backup started and stopped, path of backup, or any error messages. Also, too, a backup interval can be scheduled to run daily, weekly, monthly, or on a daily intervals. System image backups can be restored to a different computer with different hardware. You can read more about this in, in AOMEI's website. Backups can optionally be compressed with normal or high compression level. You could also, it, it supports command line cloning and restoring. The backup can be split into smaller pieces for easier storage using a custom size predetermined like 700 megabytes for a CD or four gigabytes for a DVD. There are more advanced features like merging incremental backups and using batch scripts to run a backup and they are available with the paid versions. So these are some of the versions that you could get. You get the standard or you could get the professional, get the workstation edition, the server edition. They have their different pros and cons and costs. Also, we have for enterprises, technician edition and technician plus edition. If you want to start your own business, doing some backups for people. Also too, for more information, be sure to follow the link in the video description and download the standard edition for free. And it's just going to do the, it's going to take a while to do this. So I'm just going to wait it out a little bit. And I'm not going to record the whole entire process by which we do it, but I'm just going to skip forward to the part where the, it's complete. This is what some of the settings you have. You have different backup modes and you have an advanced mode. You have different compressions. You have settings, you have other type settings. And it's pretty simple to use software. What sets this apart from the others is the interface design, the all inclusivity of it and the ease of use. But here's uh, basically, I'm gonna compare side-by-side -side comparison of the directory. At the top is the directory that I backed up, and at the bottom will be the backup of the directory in which I backed up on a uh, Western Digital external drive connected to this computer. All looks the same. There's 66 items in the top folder. If I get out of the way, you'll see that there's 66 items in the bottom folder. And I'm pretty pleased with what we have. So in a nutshell, that's all I have to say. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, for more information, be sure to follow the link in the video description and download the standard edition for free. Once again, I said thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me in this video. Be sure to like the video, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and leave a comment below what your thoughts are about the situation.